Okay, so I already finished doing the soldering over here. See, it's not the best, but it's the hack. So remember, you connect the mono audio to this guy. Okay, after you do the soldering in the back. Let's see, there, there you go. Okay, so then, so this, so you don't freak out because it happened to me. So this is my own hack, nobody else's have it, nobody. I check. Okay, so we have it connected now to the back of the trainer option on the Devo 7. It is connected. This is runner. This is PC for some reason. This one because I made a mistake. I kind of did something so I changed the title, but don't worry about that. What you want you to see is this. Look at the Devo 7. Look at here. See? And I actually already chose. Um, sorry about that. My flash is on the way. Okay, around and then see it's functioning now. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so now the smart uh, proper proper plus <laughs> proper plus is actually recognizing my device with no drivers whatsoever. You can still download the driver uh, from the websites. I can actually put it on the description for you. Um, now, so the next step it should be go to uh, game USB remote control, and then we have the B Joy, which is already there, and then properties, and then settings, and then calibrate, and then we have to follow the prompts. For that one, you should just read the directions, and then you should be good to go. Uh, however, I can do it over here for the description. It says move the handle completely in circles. Okay. It looks kind of weird. So, oh, there you go. I was doing it wrong. So, you can see. Complete circles. And then press a button on your control. Then click next. Leave the handle center and press the a button on your controller. Okay, so next. Oh this this settings I actually had to find which buttons are these because um not sure yet that one is oh it's this one right here. See it real time, down, up, down, up, down. Move the Z axis all the way up, down, up and down, and press a button on your controller. It's working now. All right. So then let's go ahead and click the next. Let me turn it off the flash so you can see better. Okay, so we see doing the same thing. So it's working, I'm so happy. Okay, then click next. Move the X rotation all the way up and down. Press a button on the controller. the X that one I'm not sure which one is that one
Oh, there you go. It's this guy, like this. Okay. And then click next again. Then move the what the the Y all the way up and down. Which one is that one? Oh, this guy right here. Okay. Next. And then the Z. Oh my gosh, a bunch of buttons. The Z. Oh, this guy right here. See? Zero, one, two. Zero, one, two. Click next. And then move the side, side, what? Slider all the way up and down and press a button on the controller. Slider, let's see. Which one is that one? What is this guy right here? Alright. Then we click next. Then the dial. Okay. I believe this guy right here. Oh. No, move the dial all the way up and down. Which one is that one? Let me try again. Um. Which one is the one? Well, I don't know which button is that one, so just gonna kind of pass on that one. I don't, I don't, I don't know which one it is. So let's continue. Let's finish. Bye. Okay. Let's close it. Then let's open the game or the emulator. Which I believe is on my documents. Downloads. It's right here. The free rider demo. Alright, let's try this guy. Now we gotta change it. And then we're gonna do uh, calibrate controller so we leave it in the center like over here okay so in the center then we click OK then oh it's gonna be difficult because I have one hand available right now so one moment guys Okay, so this is what it looks after you actually do all the setup. You just gotta follow the prompts. It's really easy. I promise. Um, okay. Then we click OK. And then the desert option. 
I remember I only have one hand available right now. So let's see. Whoa, went too high. <laughs> what is this thing? Put some ball. Oh, shoot. You cannot hear it right now. <laughs> That's because I have the microphone option. Let me see if I can connect it to my Bluetooth. Alright, one moment. Okay, let's try it again. Oh yeah. You hit the audio. See? I'm falling. For some reason, it's not running smooth right now. Let me see why. Gonna do it so you can see. <laughs> so it is working. Look at this thing. I'm gonna drop it again. Boom. <laughs> so we can do now FPV. Look at this. Alright guys. So it is working. A functional uh, transmitter. Devo 7. No drivers uh, needed from a third party. The only thing you need actually is um, this emulator. If you can get it. The full version get it. Because it's really good. I just got the demo because I didn't want to purchase it without even be able to use it. Um, here is the the name is a FPV Freerider demo. I can put the link in the description. Also, you're gonna need this um, program, uh, which the name is right here. It's called the Smart Propo Plus. And then, as you can see. Um, my transmitter is working finally here for those people that was having the issues with the Devo 7 also this one should work with this guy right here which is the Spectrum and this one is an older model which is the D7 DX7 which is still brand new spanking new still in the box <laughs> so I'm gonna try it and in a few minutes but like I said, it's, it's working. So what we did to recap, we removed the, um, the microphone. One moment.
I'm gonna just put the flash over here. 